I am back with another video. And this video is just going to be a get to know me challenge, tag, question, whatever it's called. But yeah, so I'm just going to do a get to know me tag and just answer 30 questions that I have here. For those of you that don't know me and that watch my videos and probably would like to get to know me, I'm a pretty private person and and I don't really share too much of my life on my social media. Um, even people that are really closest to me still don't know everything about me that that's just how I am. It's good to just keep most things just private. But I figure, you know, since this is my channel and you guys don't know me, I kind of just like popped up out of the blue doing my whole YouTube thing. I decided that I should do like a little fun get to know me tag that they have going around YouTube and on Tumblr and all that stuff. So for those of you that don't know my name and don't know how to pronounce my name, my name is Brianna. There's history behind my name. Well, really not that much of a history. I'll just give you a little, I'll just give you a little background type thing. Um, my name was originally spelled B-R-E-Y-A-N-A -A, and my dad changed it to B-R-E-Y-A-W-N-A. So, Y-A-W-N is my mom's and my family's last name. So, he wanted to, him and my granny wanted to, like, incorporate that together. And then, Marshayla, um, my dad picked that name out. I, I don't, I, I don't know where he got that from. I, I don't, I don't know where he got that from, but it's different. I don't know anyone with that name. My cousin's name, though. She's younger than me. I don't know if my uncle took that idea or whoever, however she got that name. But her name is Marche. My middle name is Marche La. So, yeah. And then Washington is my last name, which is just, I don't know. My initials together, BMW. My dad wanted to name all of his kids with the BMW initial. And I'm also 22 years old. Recently just turned 22 my sign is a Virgo, which explains a lot about me and how I act and just everything. But shout out to all my Virgos out there. Um, it's about to go away soon. Virgo season is going away. But we will prosper for the rest of the year and we'll be back again 2018. So yeah. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is black and any shade of green who is your best friend my best friend is brianna how tall are you i am literally a dwarf like there's no other way to describe it i am 4'11 most people will say i'm like legal age as a midget but i'm really not like it just runs in my family mostly everyone is short my great grandmother she was my height my aunt she's my height it skipped over my dad's generation and then came over to me i'm that height so do you like cats or dogs um i don't like animals really but i can deal with dogs how many countries have you visited i never been out of the country, but the first country that I do plan on going to is Thailand. Are you in or have you gone to college? No, I have not gone to college, and no, I'm not in college. I don't plan on going to college. I'm not like a college-y type of girl, and what I want to do to, what I want to do in life, you really can't go to college for it, so... What was your favorite and worst subject in high school? My favorite subject was history and the one that I hated most was math. I really hated math class. What is your favorite drink? I will have to say my favorite drink, and it's like smoothie, but my favorite is strawberry, banana, papaya, and pineapple smoothie. 
It's like my ultimate favorite drink. I can drink that any day, all day, every day. What is your favorite perfume? My favorite perfume on the expensive side, it is Flower Bomb by Victor and Ralph. And on the less expensive side, to say it's the Tucci Colsi, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's by Bath and Body Works. It's the Golden Honey. That's like my favorite body mist to put on when I get out of the shower or like just random. That I just love the way that. Oh, I love anything that smells that has like that fresh vanilla, like soft scent. This question is, what would you or have you named your children? Um, I'm actually not going to expose that because I've told some people what I want to name my child and they've named their children or said they want to name their child that. So just know that I want my children to have the initials as me, BMW. What is your favorite book? I would have to say my favorite book, my favorite book is The Fifty Shades trilogy those are my favorite books to read i can read those over and over again all three of them in like two weeks like that's just i just love those books. it's not in a like don't think nothing it's just i love those books it's just so romantic who are some of your favorite youtubers so my first favorite youtuber her name is Jaleesa. She goes by Say the Least. She's just really like, she just has such a good spirit and she's such like a, like a real person. She's very talented and she's just very driven and I can relate to her on so many ways. And we both have the same kind of like style. So I really, really, really love her. She's like my number one favorite. And the next question is, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Just Right with Queen Latifah in common. Are you single or taken? Um, I wouldn't say that I'm single and I wouldn't say that I'm taken. It's just, it's a situationship, I would say. What's your ideal first date? So, I don't know, I'm not too big on like dates. Um, I'm a homebody, so I like anything that we can do, like, at home, or if we can just, like, relax, just the two of us. So I don't really, I never, like, had this whole ideal first date planned out in my head. Like, if we order some Chinese food or some tacos, and we're sitting on the couch with some wine, like, I'm completely satisfied, that's the date to me. Like, um, how many girlfriends and boyfriends have you had? I would say that I've had three that matters. <laughs> That's about it. Three relationships that mattered. No offense and no shade, but... Oh, do you catch that? That is um, Trophy Wife on my face. And I also, just a little side note, I have Trophy Wife on my cheeks right now. And also for my liner, I have it's this Maybelline Master Precise Ink Metallic Liner in the color Solar Gold. And I love this. Like, it looks so pretty. Like, I just thought that it went perfect with Trophy Wife, so I had to wear these two together. Um, anyways, back to the schedule program. Uh, Favorite memory from childhood? I have so many memories. As a kid, like, I grew up with all of my cousins, and I guess I would say I made the best memories hanging out at my granny's house back in the days. All of my cousins used to go there, like, after school, in the summer, like, every day. It was just, like, a family affair every day. Every day after we got to school, we most of us, we went to the same school at the same time, so we all came to my grand my granny's house like collectively and we just like hung out played hide and go seek did like little kids stuff like i feel like those are the best memories that i've had growing up as a child like being able to hang out with all my cousins because some people don't have like a wide range of cousins some people have like three or four cousins they hang out with where i have like 
10 to 20 cousins that I hung out with like all the time. So I don't know. Just childhood memories in my grand's house was like my favorite. Do you speak a different language and how well? No, I don't. No, I don't speak a different language. I want to speak Spanish. I feel like I should have taken that serious in high school. But growing up, knowing that most jobs like that I want to do in the medical field, I can't really do or I can't get that job, that certain job that I want because they want you to be bilingual, which I think that sucks and it's unfair. And I'm not going to get on that rant, but whatever. Um, do you have siblings? Yes, I have a bunch of siblings. I have four brothers and four sisters. Honestly, my favorite restaurant is this local restaurant. It's called um, Bangkok Tokyo. What is some of your favorite TV shows? So, I don't really watch TV like that, but... My favorite show that I'm in love with and I can, I'm just, I can watch it over and over. I can watch any episode over and over is Grey's Anatomy. Um, I love just, I love medical stuff and I also love just like the romance part of it and just like, I don't know, I feel like I can learn something from Grey's Anatomy even though it's like not like a real life show. Granted, it's about medical and all that, but from an artist standpoint i think the graphics and the stage makeup is off the wall and i'm like i'm like when i see different different scenes and they have like crazy stage makeup like i get super excited i'm like zooming in i'm like pausing it like it mac or pc i prefer mac i have a macbook air and I have a lot of Apple products. So, yeah. And that leads me to the next question. iOS or Android? iOS, I have an Apple Watch. I have iPhone 7. I have a iPad and my MacBook Air. I don't feel like I'm ever going to go to an Android. It's just... Apple, to me, just seems so simple. And Androids are just too jumpy. Like, it makes me nervous. I feel like if I click on something, it's just going to go. So, I hope this video was kind of, like, cool. I feel more relaxed. I'm getting more comfortable with the camera, with talking, with being a little bit more, like, outgoing. Like, I'm a very outgoing person. I'm outgoing and chill, but, like, in front of the camera, I'm kind of, like, blah. Because it makes me feel awkward talking to a camera. And a camera is, like not talking back it just i don't know i can't really grasp the concept right now but i'm getting comfortable with talking to the camera so so i hope you guys really like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe share so i'll see you in another video 